We provide a lot of packages in FreeDOS, but once you've installed a package, how do you run it from anywhere on your system? And that's what we're going to learn about today. And the short answer is you need to add it to what's called the path variable. Path is what tells FreeDOS where to run different programs or where to find different programs. And this is a fresh system. And so just to show you what I'm talking about, let me just uh, type my path here. Just, just type the word path and that'll print out the path that FreeDOS knows about. It's going to only be able to know how to run programs that are located inside the C colon FreeDOS bin directory. Let's actually install a new program here. We'll do FD impulse and let's go down to editors and hit tab and go down to fed hit space. And that will allow me to select the fed editor. And if you've watched me uh, do the programming videos, you've seen me use fed. We use tab to go down to the okay and hit space. And now I've installed the fed editor. Uh, which is installed that you can see up there at the top of the screen. It's installed it to C colon apps fed, uh, which is not in my path, right? Again, my, my path looks like this. It's, it's C colon FreeDOS bin. And so if I run fed, I can't actually run it from here. I'd actually have to go into uh, apps and then fed, and I can, I can run it from here. I can run fed, which is great. But how do I run it from wherever I am, like back in the root directory? Let's go ahead and exit this program and then go back to the root directory. And remember, my path was C colon FreeDOS bin. Well, I want to update my path variable to also include C colon uh, apps fed. And so I'm going to do that by uh, just typing the command path. And then I need to give it the path that I want it to use. Now, uh, to pull the previous uh, variable path, I'm going to enclose it in uh, these percent signs. And so there's path. And then a semicolon, because that's how you separate different paths in the path variable. And I'm going to put in uh, C colon backslash uh, apps backslash fed. And now my path variable has been updated. And I'm still keeping the C colon uh, FreeDOS bin, but I've now added to it the apps fed directory. And so now I can use fed and now I've able to run fed from wherever I am on my system. Now, if I want to be able to preserve that, I'm just going to quit the fed uh, editor. If I want to preserve that and make sure I can use fed from anywhere in the system, anytime I reboot my system, I'll need to edit my fdauto.bat file because modifying my path only changes the current uh, running version of FreeDOS. So if I were to reboot the system, that path variable wouldn't be set to include apps fed. I would need to actually modify my fdauto. And so let's do that. Let's actually uh, edit my fdauto.bat file. And up here at the top, you can see it allows me to set the uh, path uh, file. And so that the path directory. And so I actually want to add here colon or semicolon and then C colon apps fed. And now if I were to save this file and then reboot my system, save, and then go ahead and exit. and then reboot, uh, then it will actually take effect every time I reboot the system. And so now if I type path, you can see that C apps fed is included in my path and I can type fed from even where I am. And now I'm running fed. And so that's how you can modify your path to be able to run these packages from wherever you are on the system. So what do you think about this topic? Are there other topics you'd like me to cover? Let me know in the comments below. Before I go, I wanted to thank everyone who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I want to thank you again, especially here uh, for that. So thank you again. Visit our website at freedus.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.